The exhibition Indigenous Voices of Today. Knowledge, trauma, resilience bears witness to the still unrecognized knowledge of indigenous peoples in Quebec and Canada as well as the deep wounds they carry and their incredible resilience. About 100 carefully selected objects from the museum's indigenous cultures collection are combined with more than 80 powerful inspiring stories, texts and videos from members of the 11 indigenous nations of Quebec, shedding light on their knowledge and philosophies. They speak out about their suffering as well as their dreams and plans for a better future to help restore their health, which has been undermined by the process of assimilation. As part of an effort to initiate dialogue and foster understanding, the exhibition offers an opportunity for a meaningful encounter. The testimonies were gathered by the Huron, Wendat curator Elizabeth Kane, who between 2010 and 2018 conducted a major consultation involving 800 people from the 11 indigenous nations living in Quebec. The objects on display were selected by the Inu Jean Street, Ange, of the Maison de la Transmission de la Culture Inu Shapuchuan, Inu Ashat, using an approach inspired by indigenous ways of understanding the world through observation and allowing the objects to speak to him. In this video it will show how they use a knife called Ulu. And Ulu is an all-purpose knife traditionally used by Inuit, Anupiat, Yupik, and Aleut women. It is utilized in applications as diverse as skinning and cleaning animals, cutting a child's hair, cutting food, and, if necessary, trimming blocks of snow and ice used to build an igloo.
Serge Chaplot. Who is he? Born in Montreal in 1945, Serge was the youngest in a family of seven, all boys. Chaplot often jokes that on the day he made his appearance, six years after his youngest brother, his father left the hospital a disappointed man. Raised in the working-class neighborhood that would later be dubbed Le Petit, Pattery, he has often compared his childhood to the one portrayed in Jean, Claude Lawson's film Laolo, but minus the poetry. Drawing nevertheless occupied a major place in the modest family home on Drollet Street, and it was there that Serge learned the rudiments of what would become his profession. After studies at the École des Beaux, Art de Montreal and subsequent work experience in graphic art, he began making his name as a cartoonist, working for a wide range of publications and eventually becoming, in 1996, cartoonist for La Presse. Explore the world of Serge Chaplot in the first major retrospective devoted to the creative work of this icon of cartooning. With his incisive pen and devilishly sharp strokes, Chaplot shows us the hilarious side of Quebec society. Politicians, celebrities and other public figures, everyone is fair game for the Montreal cartoonist's scathing humor. 50 Years of Popular Culture in Cartoons The Exhibition, which features over 150 original cartoons, sketches and illustrations, reveals unknown facets of this multidisciplinary artist. The cartoons, the real stars of the show, have been selected to document the main topics, including the follies of his youth, his sources of graphic inspiration, his irreverent portraits, how his drawing technique has evolved as seen through the lens of his editorial cartoons and, of course, the various incarnations of his iconic character, Gerard D. Laflac. This is Gerard D. Laflac, the iconic character of Serge. Gerard D. Laflac made his television debut in the early 1980s as a latex puppet, but was eventually created using CGI animation. 
His name was inspired by former minister and acting leader of the Quebec Liberal Party Gérard de Lévesque. La Flac was a satirical show on Quebec television that commented on current events through its main character, Gérard de La Flac, a stereotypical family father. The show characterized a major source of vicarious embarrassment for the younger generation.